Greg, you've been at the New Saints for a number of years now. You've been through some difficult times, of course, on the pitch. How difficult has the past few weeks been compared to previous seasons? Uh, very difficult, I'd say. Probably the toughest. I don't think I've uh, known to let's go three games in a row. Uh, not getting a win. Obviously, Bangor is on penalties. Um, and then Barry and Carnarvon. Carnarvon, sorry. So, uh, no, it's been, uh, been a tough few weeks. And... Um, but, you know, we stuck to it this week in training, made sure that the training was intense and I think that showed today really. We started the game with intensity and uh, got two early goals. And it was a, a great result, also a decent performance as well. Yeah, good performance. I think everyone probably probably done really well today. I don't think there's anyone that sort of, you know, looked out of place. Um, Joe Ash came in, done really well. Uh, Billy Whitehouse done well. John Routledge uh, set me up for once, which was nice. He's tried to tried for a few years now, and I think that's probably the first time he's set me up since he's been there. So that was nice, but um, no, uh, I think all over the park, really, we, uh, we look really solid. Well, you're leading on to the next question quite nicely there, Greg, because six goals for the New Saints, and you scored four of them. Yeah, um, obviously Dino got us on the way with, uh, with a great header. Uh, good ball from Billy, I think it was. Um, so that set us on our way, nice early goal, and that always sort of settles us down. And then, uh, yeah, nice... Uh, Let's get a hat-trick in the first half, nice first goal, uh, nice penalty and then uh, that goal that we were talking about where John's put me over the top and it was a good finish as well. So um, yeah, no, it was nice, nice to get one in the second half as well. Kurt's done well to find me in the middle of the box, so um, happy days. As a striker, it's all about scoring goals, but what about the other end, another game without a clean sheet? Yeah, I think, um, I think we looked a lot more solid today. I think we obviously scored two late goals, maybe we were sort of relaxed a little bit too much, maybe took our foot off the gas. Um, so, you know, that can, that can always happen. Um, but yeah, obviously I think we've failed to keep a clean sheet this season, so it'll be nice. Hopefully next week, Penny Bond, um, you know, hopefully that'll be our main aim, keep a clean sheet, and uh, more often than not, the other end will take care of itself. And you double your league tally for the season. The four today takes you up to eight, still chasing that hat-trick of golden boots yeah I wasn't looking uh, too promising before today uh, I think I was five behind before today um, so it's obviously helped today I think I'm two behind now I think Venable scored one today so he moves on to ten I'm on to eight so um, I'm probably uh, back in a good position I think and obviously follow up the next couple of weeks with a few more and uh, we'll see how we go <clears throat> and next week it's off to play Penabont in South Wales a tough challenge for the new Saints yeah they've already given us a really tough game this year um, they were probably harshly done by to uh, you know, come away from here with at least a point. Uh, we've done well to sort of grind out a win. Um, so they're going to be well up for it. They're well organised. Um, so we're going to have to make sure like, you know, that we play today and start the game like we did today to, uh, to give ourselves a good chance. Greg, as always, thank you for your time. Congratulations on the win. And of course, congratulations on your four goals. Thank you.